Since the outbreak of COVID-19 in March 2020 coupled with a lockdown that paralyzed the economy, many businesses closed, while others are still struggling. However, the landlords have been increasing their rent. Perhaps some have loans that have accumulated high interest from lenders like banks. However, amid all this, there have been complaints about high taxes levied by the Uganda Revenue Authority, especially on new businesses, and as well as those that survived the lockdown. Uganda Revenue Authority collects rental income tax and value-added tax from commercial buildings and the income tax on residential properties. Where that property is commercial, uh, you also expected to register for value-added tax on such a facility. Uh, value-added tax uh, because it is commercial and where the earnings from such a property go above 150 million in a year. That is around 37.5 million in three months. Although the residential facilities do not attract value-added tax, the employees, who earn about 250,000 shillings, are supposed to be registered to pay as you earn. You will have to register for pay as you earn as a form of withholding tax. And uh, where you have suppliers of particular services, it may also mean that you may have to register for withholding taxes. For commercial buildings where the landlord has registered for value-added tax, the tenants can claim for operation costs to run the business from URA. One of such costs is rent. And for those who have just started business and registered for the team, the authority assesses the business and an income tax is levied on it. If you're in any way dissatisfied with any decisions, this is how you appeal. We show you everything. We have actually printed taxpayer, newly registered taxpayer starter packs and translated them in local languages. Sometimes even when the business has not taken off, URA continues to assess it. However, the owner should file returns, of which you can file zero returns to the authority. The officer signing and giving you this uh, assessment must show you that if you are dissatisfied, go to the URA web portal, follow this link, and object. Some of the businesses never take off, but URA continues to tax those businesses that have even closed. So why is it that the team does not go and check to see whether this business that we just had actually still exists and is operating. If you have valid reasons, like you've said, you've said, a business did not take off, you object to the assessment that was sent to you by filing an objection where you indicate that you're asking me to pay 50 million, but I did not make any business and I would like my 50 million position to be reversed to zero. The authority will charge income tax basing on the rates of the most successful similar businesses in the same area for those who fail to file returns. You're in wholesale, you're in hardware. So we say you're in Chireka. We look at other hardwares in Chireka, how much they paid in tax in the previous periods, and we assess as per that average. What if... I closed the business. Maybe along the way I worked a bit and then it closed and it got some glitches. And I ignore all the emails you have to send to me asking for these assessment payments. What happens? The legal services and uh, border affairs department has a litigation team that can take matters to court or we have the tax investigations department that has uh, that enforcement arm. The chairperson of the Valuation Court, Kampala City, Samuel Muizi, told in TV that property rates or tax is charged on all income generating properties. So it's a percentage of your income from the business where KCCA currently is charging between 4% and 6%. But of that 6%, the 100% is not entirely taken by KCCA. 25% of the total amount that should have been charged by KCCA is retained by the rate payer. Muizi shared some of the complaints that have been lodged by property owners pending disposal. And most complaints are that your value is higher compared to the income I generate. Others are the user. Because uh, in, a, in, in a residential property, you're not supposed to charge it. Just like you are a, when your business is poorly assessed, you can lodge a complaint. The objections we have are over 700 and we have scheduled hearings from August. 
If you've just had a business and it has not taken off and you've already been given a tax identification number, that is the TIN, then you can go to Ghana Revenue Authority and have that number deactivated or else they'll continue assessing the business. Or you can as well reactivate it later on when the business kicks off. And if you've also had a business and along the way it got some hurdles and you closed it, and then you can also go to the same authority and file for objection especially when they continue assessing it and failure to do anything about this then it will come with consequences. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV Nakawa.